Okay, so here's a high speed economics 101 for solar. Starting with the good news, we have a million solar roofs live today. So these are houses that are put in solar systems and power their lives with sunshine. That means cold beers, warm showers, fridges, TV, entertainment, all that good stuff powered by the sun. So the question I ask is, why are there not more people doing this? Is it because there's not enough solar energy out there to supply billions of people's energy? Uh, turns out not the case. Here's this little pea-sized energy supply demand today, 15 terawatts. Turns out there is 6,000 on the same scale in my little chart here. 6,000 times more energy coming from the sun every single day for free. 86,000 terawatts. So that means there's plenty of sun out there. That is a resource that's way bigger than coal and everything else. So let's just look at the price. That's really the driver. If there's all the supply, how do we make it economic? So what's happened, thankfully, over the last 30 years, if this is the cost of solar energy, we start off in 1970, and over the last 30 years, the price of solar has fallen by 5% every year, and consistently for 30 years. Meanwhile, the cost of electricity has risen by 5% per annum. So, you know, you can see there that these two lines cross. And the Department of Energy has said that two-thirds of all U.S. homes should be lower cost with solar by 2015. So within four years, we're talking about an incredible market size. And so post that, I think you'll see solar take over. I think it'll become a, an inevitable technology used by everyone.